Hey there, and welcome to Fat Daniel's Barbecue. Today we're going to be making our version of a recently discovered delicious barbecue treat, Moink Balls. Spicy meatballs wrapped in bacon, smoked and glazed with barbecue sauce. Apparently, the original Moink Balls were made with frozen Italian meatballs, so feel free to do the same. But today, we're going to be making our own. To make the meatballs, you'll need 750 grams, that's a little over a pound and a half, of good quality beef mince. Make sure the mince is at least 20% fat so that your meatballs are tasty and moist. You'll also need an egg, 60 grams or two ounces of grated Parmesan cheese, 60 grams, two ounces of breadcrumbs, half a cup, 120 ml or four and a half fluid ounces of milk, two cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of dried parsley, one teaspoon of dried oregano, some of my Fat Daniel's Dixie Dust, and our fabulous barbecue spice rub. Start by adding the mince to a large bowl. Lightly beat the egg, and put that in as well. In go the breadcrumbs, and the cheese. Crush in the garlic. And add the herbs. Now, and this is where the magic happens, add two teaspoons of Dixie Dust. And then, four teaspoons of barbecue spice rub. We're going to sprinkle some more rub over the balls as well, but adding it into the mixture maximizes the flavor. Pour the milk into the mix, and it's time to combine everything together. By far the best way of doing this is with your hands. So don't be shy, get stuck in, and give it a good old mix up. When all the ingredients are completely and thoroughly mixed together, roll the mixture into balls. Ideally you want these a little smaller than a golf ball. Mine are perhaps a little on the large side today. I only got 24 out of my mixture, but you should get about 30 with this recipe. Sprinkle your meatballs with a bit more of the Fat Daniel's Barbecue Spice Rub. And then, we need the ingredient that puts the oink into moink. Yep, bacon. I'm using a full rasher of streaky bacon, but you may find that half a rasher is enough if your balls are a little smaller than the ones I've made today. Wrap a piece of bacon around each meatball Cure it with a wooden cocktail stick or toothpick. And now it's time to get the moink balls cooking. I'm doing them on the smoker today 
could do them on charcoal or gas barbecue using the indirect cooking method. Check out my video on indirect cooking if you're not familiar with this method. Cook the moink balls at 120 degrees centigrade, about 250 Fahrenheit, for about an hour, or until the internal temperature of the meatballs reaches 60 centigrade, 140 Fahrenheit. Now, using a pastry brush, glaze each meatball with some of your favourite barbecue sauce. Leave them to cook for another half hour until the internal temperature is about 70 to 75 degrees centigrade. That's 160 Fahrenheit. And then take them off the grill. Right, well these beauties have been resting for a few minutes now, so it's time to give them a try. They look delicious. Oh yeah, and they taste pretty damn good too. The meatball has a lovely amount of spice from the rub. You can still taste the Italian herbs coming through. They're moist and the bacon adds just the right amount of bite. And you've got the sweet tangy barbecue sauce to finish it all off. Barbecue perfection. Well, I'm gonna leave you now so I can devour a load more of these moin balls. Give them a try and let me know how you get on. See you next time on fatdaniels.co.uk Good food, good times. Fat Daniel.